I want to talk about fear. And this is a very important subject matter because I know how much it has been affecting you. Kuchka. Uh, we live in a world where almost everyone, I say almost because I know there are some who have mastered their fears, but almost everyone is afraid of something. A lot of people are afraid of being broke, a lot of people are afraid of being rejected, a lot of people are afraid of falling sick one time, a lot of people are afraid of dying. So many people live in the fear of death. But the human being was not designed or created by God to live in fear. This is why you would find that a lot of times when God would speak to his people, he would first say, fear not. Actually, there is a research that says in the Bible, the phrase, fear not, appears 365 times. Which is to say, for every single day that you live on this earth in a year, there is an assignment, an instruction, and a reminder for you to fear not. But why is God so concerned about our fear? Saying Marani you know at one point he was talking to Joshua and he says be strong and be of good courage God can only say that if he knows that there are things that will come your way that will try to rob you of your courage things that will try to rob you of your strength and make you weak and make you afraid but the moment you start living in fear you abandon your faith and listen God cannot operate outside of your faith the Bible says, without faith, it is impossible to please God. And here's the interesting thing about fear. Do you know that fear is actually a form of faith? Oh yes, you heard me right. Fear is actually faith that is working in reverse. Fear is actually faith in the power and in the, uh, in the ability of the adversary. So this is the reason why God is a big problem with you being afraid because he's saying the moment you are afraid you are casting a vote of no confidence in me you are saying i'm not able to take care of whatever is worrying you and stressing you you are saying i'm not able to defeat the enemies with you and for you and you are in fact placing a lot of fear in the ability and in the strength of the enemy that is fighting you because think about it if a three-year-old would come to you right this moment and say, I'm going to kill you today, or I'm going to beat you up today, uh, the most you would probably likely do is just laugh. You will laugh it off. Why? Because you know that even if the three-year-old was serious, there was no way that he was going to be able to pull it off. If he was going to attack you, you would be able to stop him without any much effort. But if somebody, uh, maybe your size or bigger than you, came to you and said, I'm going to beat you up later today because of what you did, fear would grip your heart. Why? Because you have confidence in his ability. So every time you are afraid, you are reflecting a confidence in the ability of the enemy. If somebody comes to you and says, you are going to die, and you become afraid of that word that has been spoken, you are displaying confidence in the power of the person who has said so. So if somebody comes and says the economy is going to crash, and we are all going to be out of our jobs, and we are all going to starve to death, and uh, there is this virus and this sickness that is going to attack your children, and uh, people are going to die, cyclones are coming into all of these words if these things are said and you become so afraid it means you have more faith in the word that is against you than the word that God has spoken over your life that is for you this is why God is such a problem with fear so every time even when an angel would appear they would say fear not because in the systems and in the economies and in the strategies of heaven fear is a hindrance to the operation of your faith actually fear clogs the system fear stops your system from functioning in the will of god uh, about how the children of israel moved from egypt uh, during their process of deliverance and in the process of deliverance but do you know that the journey from uh, uh, Egypt uh, to Canaan where they were going uh, was actually supposed to be like uh, less than a 40 day journey but it actually took them 40 years think about that something that was supposed to take 40 days took them 40 years why is it? 
Now, if you read the scripture, you will find that God, as he was directing the children of Israel, if these people get to that place, because of their fear of war, their fear of fighting, and their fear of enemies, they are going to turn back and go back to Egypt. So God, knowing the hearts of his children, knowing that these people have fear, they are afraid of facing the enemy, I would rather delay them and take a longer route. But I want to move in route take longer. So think about the number of things. When I when I read this, the revelation I had reminded me about a time when I started driving. I remember I was I, I I did not have the confidence. You know, you are afraid. I'm gonna be in the town. Pizza ni motor disease. You know, traffic. I couldn't go question. I couldn't go do my moon. And because of this fear, sometimes I would opt to take a very long route, and I would take maybe 45 minutes. Somewhere that was supposed to take me 15 minutes. Why? Because do try to chaga. Kusna traffic. Do try to chaga. Kusna danger. Do try to chaga. Kusna ndi chikise. Simply because of the faith. So simply because of the fear. So do you see how your fear may be delaying you to get to your dreams? How your fear may be stopping you from living the life that you want to live? How your fear may be stopping you from getting to the next level? Sometimes you're afraid of uh, how you might lose your friends if you take that step. Sometimes you're afraid, what are people going to say? Uh, how am I going to survive? But you are never going to know. If you want to stick to the places where you feel the safest, it's like a ship that will say, you know what, but you know, when I'm here by the dock, when I'm here by the beach, this is where I feel safe because there's no boisterous wind. And even if a wind comes, I'm close to the shores, like I'm safe. But listen, the boat was not meant for the shore. The boat was meant for the seas. So the boat must say to itself, whatever will come will find me in the middle of the storm because this is my destiny to take people from here and to go to the other side. So get rid of your fear. It is stopping you. It is limiting you. God is already done with you on the cross. Jesus said it is finished. And the Bible says we are blessed with all spiritual blessings in Christ Jesus. But our fears will stop us from inheriting our promises. Get rid of that fear. Say to yourself, no more fear.